Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Johnny Siam reporting. Thai Airways suspended flights to Manila due to the approach of Typhoon Kamari. A new schedule will be announced. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, Typhoon Taisoi, also Kamari, was 110 kilometres off San Jose, Mindanao Occidental. The typhoon has made landfall four times. Signal three winds up to 170 kilometres an hour. Mindoro Oriental to Badangas. Signal two winds of up to 120 kilometres an hour, covering the south of Luzon Island, including central Manila. Signal one winds up to 60 kilometres an hour for the central Luzon Island. Unfortunately, 10 people have lost their lives and up upwards of tens of thousands have been made, made homeless and seeking refuge. Johnny out. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand. Uh, looks like there's some more grim news for tourism in Northern Thailand for the first quarter of 2020. The head of the Northern Hoteliers Association based in Chiang Mai is painting a grim picture about the immediate future of tourism in Northern Thailand. She was bemoaning that bookings in the north are down and the outlook for the end of this year and, and entering the first quarter of 2020 look terrible. Speaking to snook.com, she painted a picture of sluggish tourism landscape in the north and poor pre-bookings during the usually busy Christmas period and the New Year period and into the early months of next year. She was blaming the same issues brought up by many others in the tourism game. The high Thai Bart, US-China trade wars and sluggish global economy. Compared to last year's tourism was down and it seemed little hope on their horizon. Chinese visitors may mainly stay away from the north and with direct flights coming from China to other cities but the expansion of the hotel rooms in recent times is only seeing less pie for each operator. Which is a shame for Chiang Mai as we all know it's a beautiful area and it's obviously suffering a lot. Okay, this is Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand. And now down to Nikon C. Tamarat. Police in southern Thailand kill major crystal meth trafficker. The police seized half a million speed pills and 10 kilograms of crystal meth in a house rented by a Burmese man and his wife. The man was shot dead during a gunfight with police. The police also seized a tablet press. Police had mounted a sting operation in which the suspect agreed to deliver drugs to officers posing as buyers. When he arrived with his pickup, police pounced on him. The suspect decided to open fire and try to escape. The police shot back and killed him. The Burmese man's name was U. The police went back to a house in southern Thailand and found huge amounts of drugs. His wife claimed she did not know anything and U had told her he was from Shang Rai and used to sell cars. Police Major General Somti Chai said that Wu was a major transnational trafficker with many networks. He had been wanted by the Narcotics Control Board for the last year. Johnny Siam reporting. Cash anyone? The Finance Ministry will put to the Cabinet a fresh stimulus passage to inject 50 million baht into the economy. The package is aimed at farmers and grassroots people. With this group in dire financial situations, assistance to subsidise the harvesting costs and improvement of the quality of rice for the 2019-2020 crop with some 4 
3.31 million rice farming households, covering approximately 3.4 million rye. Also, an allocation of funds to the National Village and Community Fund, with membership of over 79,000 villages countrywide. So let's help. This helps the farmers, because they're the ones that feed the country. Johnny here. Thailand's Director General has stated after December the 10th, all used vehicles imported into Thailand will be destroyed immediately. Kirati Rachano, the Director General of the Foreign Trade Department, has stated that his department is gearing up for a full-on battle against importing cars into Thailand. The ban was first introduced in July and will come into effect in December with the aim of reducing air pollution and improving road safety. Now, isn't that interesting? The Director General pointed out there will be severe implications for anyone attempting to import a used car for personal use. After the deadline, all used vehicles imported for personal use confiscated and destroyed immediately. There will be no auction of confiscated cars like in the past and the owner will be fined as sum of five times the import value. But exemptions will be made for vehicles donated to non-profit organisations or government state enterprises. This could include cranes, tractors, ambulances or fire trucks. He also warned against anyone thinking of importing a used car before December the 10th to forget it, explaining as it takes his department about 25 days to approve such applications, and the ban will take effect by the time anybody has any application looked at. The Corsican Bank of Thailand has stated the Thai economy is tethering backwards and forwards on maybe a recession next year. Financial analysts have predicted that Thailand will go into a recession next year and that the Thai baht will stay strong. They have predicted that the Thai economy entering a recession next year was now 20%, up from 15% forecast earlier. It is challenging for the Thai economy in the fourth quarter as we've seen signs of further weakening. But he believes that baht appreciation is accepted against the US dollar to continue to around 30.5 baht per dollar by the end of this year, 29.75 baht in the mid 2020s and 29.25 baht by the end of next year. They also believe that the ongoing trade war between the US and China will also help ensure that the baht remains a safe haven for foreign investors. The analyst also predicted manufacturing and employment are unlikely to expand much next year. And Thailand is also facing a labour shortage as the average age of the population rises. Government spending and stimulus packages can shore up the economy in the short run, but cannot bring around a higher growth rate. The number of foreign tourists arriving will increase little because of the global economic slowdown with China's economy sluggish too. And Beijing, China, is expected to promote domestic tourism next year, resulting in a drop in Chinese visitors to Thailand. Let's just hope the Indian tourists can fill that gap for Thailand and help to avoid Thailand sliding into a recession. Johnny, so I am reporting. Myanmar, a court-martial for alleged Northern Rohingya abuse starts on Tuesday. The proceedings against troops accused of violating military regulations during operations in Northern Rohingya State in 2017. The court will hear submissions about some of the incidents that happened in the Gai Da Pin village. Allegations have been made by some press in relation to mass graves. The government or military have said that these mass graves are that of terrorists. Johnny out.